Welcome back everyone to Pontos Fathom Hobbies. This is Season 5, Episode 1 of Joan of Arc. And we are playing from the Reliquary expansion set. And we are on the Plague of 1348 uh, scenario. So in this scenario we've got the... Uh, we just did the setup video if you want to go check out the setup before. We'll kind of walk through it. But we've got the Grim Reaper... We've got a no number of plague victims, and they're descending upon the town. Let me give you, give you guys a better view of these. Plague victims descending on the town. And then the idea here is as the plague victims descend, a activation token for plague infestation can be placed. The goal for, uh, the rough goal is plague, the Grim Reapers job is infect these buildings of the village. Uh, our St. Roche hero, uh, his goal is victory conditions for the players of good, basically to stop the, stop the Grim Reaper. We've got a priest, we've got a doctor and apothecary that can help reverse disease, so we're going to jump into it. Uh, before we do, quick shout out to uh, Pontos Fathom Press. Tales of the Yellow Sign, Volume 1 and 2. We've got The King in Yellow and Lost Carcosa and the Yellow Sign. Go check these out if you're interested in the Lovecraft uh, uh, Yellow Sign space. Uh, we've got lots of other bookstores, books in the bookstore that you can check out. You can also check out our Patreon, uh, help to support the channel. And as always, liking, subscribing, ring the bell to get notified. Uh, all of our videos... I do them in chapters by, by turns, and every one of them has a playlist, so you can check the playlist out if you uh, want to check out this or any other of our videos, go out and check them out, and uh, let's get into turn number one. So we'll start out with uh, our, okay, so we're going to get four activation each, and we'll see what we've got here for our reserve. Okay, so this one is you can either remove a injury or get a uh, get a charge token, and then this one is an option of look for war council cards of your choice and resolve it, and then reshuffle deck or retrieve your reroll token if it's not in your possession. Oh, you can re retrieve a reroll token. Huh. Okay. Um, I'm probably going to go with, with these instead, but that's fine. So we're going to each get our... Uh, so let's start out with the round cards. We've got the water council cards. We're going to get our four tokens each. We can place these on our boards. Uh, the pl players of good are going first. Uh, a couple special activities here is our... Uh, mounted Knight, our saint, he has the ability to, uh, he has a, some special abilities here, so he has the ability, he can shield results obtained when defending the black uh, bank results in obtained units with the plague skill. So he basically can turn his shield results into defending the uh, black bank results. And um, when the plague characters finish, they can put those plague tokens I mentioned. And then also, once per round at the cost of an action, the Great Reaper may deploy a unit from the plague. And the Great Reaper may only perform a movement action once per turn. So he can either move or bring in reinforcements. So let's, uh, let's start out with moving. So we'll, we'll go ahead and place our reinforcements. Uh, so I guess we'll have... Let's have our knights activate here. Let's have these guys activate. Let's have these guys activate. And I guess these guys, right? We've got, we got everybody covered here, right? So I think this is a, a good way to start because we've got one, two, three, th three points of contact here. Uh, and then they will, they get to start out their, uh, since we have the card for first player, that means we get to go first, and uh, I just want to see the 
Priest here. He can perform a heal action. So let's just have um, we'll have these all move forward into this space. Keep the bishop back here. We'll activate all of these and then we'll also move these down as well. So uh, and then we'll also do a similar uh, move for, I suppose we'll move these in instead of down. And we can also move these in instead of down. Okay, and that's going to be that, that was resolved. So let's start out with our first uh, volley. Let's have these guys attack these plague victims and try to... Uh, try to clean up here a bit. So what we've got on this space are uh, Pervaser and Halberdier. Pervaser and Halberdier. So they get, um, if we look at their cards, The Pervaser is just the blocker. So we're going to just use the Halberdiers to attack. They're going to attack with the white dice. And the Plague Victims get to defend. They get no defense. Okay, so this is easy. So we'll go ahead and do a roll. And we get a single wounded. So one of these Plague Victims already sent back to the infirmary. Uh, let's keep it going with the... Uh, men at arms here. The provincial militia. Uh, they get yellow. These two guys will get the yellow dice. And we get a push them back, but that's fine. And then we'll also get the halberdiers. They get a white dice. And also just shields. So nothing there. And these guys are all set here. Uh, we're going to we're going to contact the civilians. All civilians have a heal spell. He can remove a, a a plague victim in an adjacent area. Okay, so that's going to be it for the uh, the players of light. Let's go to the plague player, and we're going to start out with. Uh, So the uh, four tokens for here. I'm going to start one on the. Um, let's, let's not. Why not? We'll bring the Grim, Grim Reaper out. We'll have these guys also attack, right? So uh, first of all, the plague victim, plague bearer, says plague bearer units suffer a kill result. They're sent to the infirmary. While the infirmary, all death results suffered by plague bearers units are treated as disrupted results. Okay. So uh, we'll have. These two plague victims moving forward. Uh, we will have at the end of the camp phase, I can deploy the Grim Reaper. So what's the camp phase? Oh, I have to do that at the end. Okay, so so we've activated, but he only deploys at the end of the camp phase. So this moves forward. This guy will move forward into here, and these plague victims will move forward here. Uh, the plague bearers have the power of uh, adding the plague to when when a unit with the plague skill finishes in an activation in an area containing a building, it contaminates the area. So these guys are trying to get to building spaces. Uh, so that's the uh, that's the key for them. So the also I can have the, the Great Reaper can use an action to spawn two more uh, plague victims. And I will suppose that these can start here and here, right? So that will be the spawn point. 
So he'll also spawn these two. And uh, these guys don't attack, they're just moving forward. Uh, he will attack as a plague bearer. He gets a one, one die. And the defense for him is the uh, so there's white and a black. And he actually doesn't do damage, but again, these two will do the same. So I will use two. And um, provincial militia is yellow. So we do two versus militia. And the plague victims are able to uh, injure our militia. And last uh, roll is, oh no, we got this plague victim gone. So that will wrap it up for the, um, for the forces of plague. And then we will deploy our Grim Reaper. Uh, we can deploy him in the camp phase, at the end of the camp phase. So let's clean up the board. We'll roll our injuries for the uh, infirmary. So we'll go ahead and roll these for the plague victim and for the, so the plague victim rallies. So he's gonna rally back to a rally point here. And uh, these go to the infirmary. So that is fine. Put this dice back. And lastly, we will uh, drop the Grim Reaper from behind. The Grim Reaper will come into this space, an adjacent space. So he's coming in behind. He'll be in play next round. And we can clean this one up. And that is going to do it for round one. Uh, guys, check out the link for turn two. And uh, looking forward to keep going this game. This is a very interesting one. We got the Grim Reaper, the Plague Victims. We've already uh, got some injuries. And we're spawning more Plague Victims. So this is going to be a mad dash. Talk to you in turn two. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.